Hey, keep me where the light is, keep me where the bright is, to let be. Hi, welcome back to my channel and today we're going to be doing hair and makeup. I've moisturised and scrubbed my skin. So the first thing I'm going to be using is Rimmel a two in one primer and a setting spray. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. So I'm going to give it a shake. Fan it a bit so it dries. What does everybody think about the weather in South Wales today? Boiling. So I've been out relaxing in our back garden. So off my foundation. Just blot it all under the eyes. I've never seen a tall one set in spray and primer before. I think it's a really, really fab idea. So we'll see how it goes. And I'll let you know if my makeup stayed on or not in the next video or how long it stayed on for. Because it's the first time using primer and set in spray. Foundation I'm using is Perfect Finish from Primark. <laughs> Next, I'm using my Brow Sketch again from Primark, light brown colour. I just draw a line from the corner of my eye up and across, over and down, then round till I get my shape and then colour it in. Then I go on to my other eye. Next, I'm going to put some foundation on my eyelid. So, when I go on to my eyeshadow, it'll stick on. So, sort of priming, I suppose. Then I'm going to use Rose Quartz Eyeshadow Palette from Primark. And I'm going to use the red shade. I put it all over the top of the line, cut crease, round in a circle, love this colour, awesome, especially if we've got dark eyes, really goes well with the colour brown or dark green eyes I suppose. really makes dark eyes stand out. The next, I'm using the same palette and I'm going to go with the gold colour here. And I'm going to swipe it all across. I'm going to do the same on the other eye. If you think the line looks too harsh, just go over it lightly, right round, and just blend in a bit more. The next, I'm going to be using highlighter, same palette, this one here. I'm going to be going under my eyebrow. I love this colour, it really makes it shine. It makes all your skin glow. 
I think it makes it look really healthy. And I go just dust a tiny bit over the top. I say a tiny bit, and I always go over it more. Then I go on my bottom lid, just a lightly dust the middle part so that the this red will make it look wider because you're just adding a little bit in the middle the red round like a rainbow shape makes your eyes seem wider and do exactly the same on the other side and look up and under the eye and I put some on my nose some on my lip Cupid's bow. And underneath. Next I'm going to go with the bronzer, sun kissed bronzer. I'm going to use the top one. I'm going to lightly dust it. my cheeks. You don't want too much because it'll, well it depends on the look you want I suppose. This looks natural, natural blush. I think it, having the sun out really makes us happy. Just cheers us up especially with all this coronavirus thing going on. We need some sunshine in our life. At least we can go out to our garden and sit in the sun. Put on my chin. Next for the lashes, and I'm using these lashes. I've applied the glue and I've let it go tacky. Then next, I'm gonna highlight my cheeks just over the top of the bronzer. Then next, I'm gonna do my lips. I'm gonna line my lips with Makeup Gallery from the Pound Shop. It is, yeah, it is lip liner. I just line it on my lips. On the top. If you draw a line slightly above your lip line, it makes your lips look bigger. Again on the other side. Then I do lines, yeah. I can't get a perfect line, just a bit of shade in there and there in a circle. And set the art down. Then I'm I use my lip butter and take a good bit and rub it all over the lips. Fancy makes the lips look a bit more pouty. Then for my hair, I'm gonna do a high bun. Bit different than I've done before to what I've done before because my is short. This is another trick I do to have long hair, but to make it look like I've got long hair, just grab the longest parts of my hair, put them in a bobble, 
take it back under so it's flat. My fake bun, and I place it on top. I take these clips, you see granny clips I call them, or hair grips. <laughs> I don't know why we call them granny clips, because granny uses them. I don't know. Just clip it right round. And if you want, you can leave me some comments on uh, what you would like to see regarding hair, makeup, beauty, maybe even you got ideas that you think would benefit other people or myself, then please leave a comment. I'd love to see what people think. And I like to have new ideas myself. Or even if you think I'm doing something wrong and you want to correct me, then that's fine. I'd love to hear from you. I love to know people's opinions. Next I'm going to use my Got To Be Glued Blasting Free Spray. And I'm going to spray around just on the clips so it gives it a bit more grip for it to last longer especially if you're going for a night out and you're going to be dancing and sweating or moving about. Then I take my mustard scarf, I place it underneath, push all the hair up, grab it and tie. Then tuck it in each side. You can also spray a bit on the scarf just to keep it in a bit longer. Just to make it feel more secure by spraying the scarf. There we are, the back is all, all hidden. The only thing you can see is the bun. Last but not least, I use my setting spray. Yum, it smells a like cucumber. There we are, finished look. If you've liked anything you've seen in this video and you found it helpful in any way you can always like and subscribe and hit the notification bell and then you will be notified every time I upload a video. Thanks so much for watching, love you all.